What's up guys? Mark here. Today it's January 25th. We're almost to February. 2023 time is flying. Today it's a little rainy out, but I'm gonna head to the market and see if I can find a fresh fish to chef up for y'all today. All right, come on. Can I get a tilapia? How many? I have one big one. Oh. Yo, we're back at the crib. Today, this is what we got. Tilapia. All right, let's go. All right, today this is what we're cooking. Tilapia and, and some tilapia that could be eaten raw. Tilapia is a pretty popular fish. It's both a hated and a loved fish. It has a really mild flavor, so it's a very versatile fish for cooking and for people who don't really like fishy fish but it's also kind of a controversial fish. They reproduce really quickly. They'll eat pretty much anything. They don't mind overcrowding and they can live in any type of water. So they're the perfect fish for farming. So if you've had tilapia before, 99% <clears throat> chance it came from a farm and it wasn't wild. It was farm raised tilapia. And sometimes the farming conditions aren't that great. And that's the reason why people will avoid them. One thing I've heard is that they're fed livestock poop. Now this practice was contained to China. So other reports from the FDA identified potentially harmful chemicals, including drug residues and some imported fish. But these reports again were limited to the fish of Chinese origin. So yeah, a lot of the bad stuff they say about tilapia, it's not the tilapia itself, it's from the conditions that they were raised in. And a lot of times it's from China. So yeah, some tilapia, particularly those farmed in China, are raised in unethical conditions and the quality of the fish suffers as a result, but they are farmed in many other parts of the world. So yeah, tilapia are farmed in Mexico, Honduras, Canada, the Netherlands, and a whole bunch of other places. And they're farmed with high standards. So my advice would be to be mindful of where you're getting your tilapia from. Look at where it comes from. All right, now that we got that out of the way, Tilapia is one of the fourth most eaten fish in the United States after tuna, salmon, and Alaskan Pollock. They're really cheap, they're like they're really affordable. Definitely one of the cheaper fish you'll find at the store. At the market there, there were $6 a pound for the fresh ones, but yeah, very, very cheap. It's believed they were first farmed in Egypt. There's hieroglyphics of tilapia on the walls and like pyramids and stuff. The word tilapia isn't the name of a single species of fish, it's a genus, so there's about 100 different species. Biblical scholars believe that tilapia was the fish Jesus fed to the crowds at the Sea of Galilee, hence its nickname, St. Peterfish. It's often served at sushi restaurants as a substitute for red snapper. But yeah, I think that's a big, a big thing in the US, like it'll say red snapper or sea brim on the, on the thing, but it'll actually be tilapia, this fish. I think that's more of a thing in America than like Japan. But today 
with this tilapia. It's a very mild fish. So I'm thinking I'm gonna grill it and make some grilled tilapia. Relatively firm meat fish. So I think I'm gonna put it on some skewers and grill it on my grill. And then with this one, we're gonna make some sushi, some nigiri, some sashimi, and maybe a roll or two. But all right, first we're gonna scale this fish. All right, we're gonna take out the scales. Come off pretty easily. Very easily actually, wow. You definitely wanna be careful about these spines they got right here. Just be careful not to prick yourself. Cause it freaking hurts. Right, next, we're gonna take off the head. We're gonna come behind the collar. Flip. Oh, I popped the, the gallbladder, it looks like. Flip, same thing, come behind the collar. Go up to the bone. And right, now we're gonna come down the belly. Well, it's got a lot of fat. All of this right here is fat, like stomach fat. That means it's got a lot of fat in the meat. All right, let's wash the inside. Pop the swim bladder. Whip off this black membrane, this is kind of bitter. All right, nice and clean. All right, let's fillet. We're gonna come down this side of the back, just a little guideline. You wanna be able to hear this sound. Flip, come down the belly. Come down this way, then. We're gonna use some scissors to cut through these ribs. The pros will use a knife, but I'm not a pro. So I'll just use these scissors. Right, one tilapia filet. Looks pretty good. Now flip, come from the belly. Flip, let's make a little small cut. The guideline cut. Make sure all the scales are off. Come underneath this. Right. Got our second fillet. Use this for fish stock. And right, next, we're gonna trim off the ribs. Shallow cuts. All right, got the ribs off. Same thing with this one. Trim this one. Smell good. All right, next, these got a layer of pin bones going down the middle. Like right here, you can feel them. So we're gonna come to the right. Up to about right here. Then we're gonna come to the left of them. One boneless filet. Now this one, feel them right here. Up from the side. Okay. All right, two boneless filets of some tilapia. All right, this one I'm gonna skin. So I'm gonna cut it down the middle. Come like this, switch it up, grab this, and just glide over the skin. Messed up a little bit right here. I'll take it though. And the same thing with this belly side. Oh, 
All right. We're gonna cut these into some cubes. Right, got our fresh tilapia ready. Osos, osos. Today, ah, ne, hisabisa ni shinsen na sakana ga aru yo. Hora, wa wa wa, yabai yabai yabai. Hime yabai itte. Tilapia da yo, tilapia. どう？おいしい？おいしい？おいしい？あ？ほらほらほら。早。じゃあこれ食べるかな？これ内臓脂肪。これ食べるかな？お、食べた。食べた。ほら。おいしくないか？おいしい？内臓脂肪は。あれは興味ないか。え、身しか食べないの？美味しいよこれ。お前が喜ぶはずだよこんな。じゃあ他の他の猫に食べてもらう後で。はい。それ全部食べてね。Alright, next we're gonna make the sushi rice. I'm gonna use the scale. I'd say for about every 60 grams of rice, you want like half a tablespoon of rice vinegar. So this is 180. So we're gonna put try three half tablespoons, teaspoons. One, two, three. Let's give it a try. Mm. All right, next, this tilapia for the sushi. Smell check. Oh. Smells like the tilapia you get at sushi restaurants. I'm gonna cut down the middle. I'm gonna dry it off too. This is the sushi tilapia, and this is the fresh tilapia. This one's a little yellower. All right, we're gonna cut these into some pieces for nigiri. I'm not a sushi chef, I'm an amateur. Just gonna start like this. One piece. Just glide the knife down the fillet. All right, now for the belly piece. All right, got our platform and our rice. So you want to wet your hands and take some of the rice, make a ball. Take a piece of fish and go like this. All right, there we go. Take the fish. All right, we got the nigiri ready. Next, we're gonna make some rolls. Got the seaweed here from Kroger. Put some rice down. Spread it out. Tilapia. Take a grain of rice. Smush it down on the end. Just tuck it around. Roll. Alright, got number one. Same thing with this one. Roll it. 
All right, there we go. I'm gonna cut this one down the middle. Here we go. We're actually gonna do one more. Okay, sushi's good. All right, let's line up the sashimi. Sashimi. A chaka make a foia. A foia. Oh, there we go. All right, we're gonna oil these up. La da 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 da. Just so they don't stick. And today's special ingredient is some thin, some pepper and garlic seasoning mix. I seen this at the store, and I seen the skewers on the back, and I thought it would be good with this tilapia. So this is the seasoning we're using today. One, I'm just gonna put salt on, but the rest I'm gonna put this garlic pepper. If I could open it. Wow. Get them nice and coated up. Now we're gonna use these skewers. Hopefully this works. Tilapia meat is very firm. So. All right, got our skewers ready. And on this one, we're gonna put some Himalayan salt. Some Himalayan, oh. The wind is pretty crazy right now. All right. Right, looking good. Woo! We moved inside because it was too windy outside. Let's flip. Sure. Okay, these are done. This looks good. So we got this tilapia sashimi, tilapia nigiri, tilapia roll, and some pepper, garlic, tilapia skewers. First, let's try one of these while they're nice and hot. Mmm. Wow, that's good. The seasoning's good, and the tilapia has really good flavor, but it has that it's got that characteristic tilapia flavor, which is really good. I don't know how to describe it. It's its own thing. Woo! All right, now let's try some sushi, some soy sauce, and some wasabi. Give that a little mix. All right, first, let's start off with the nigiri. Ooh, sure. mm. Nice, firm texture. It's got firm texture. Yeah, firm texture and a mild flavor. Very mild, comparable to like flounder. Like very mild flavor. Mm. Yeah, the sashimi 
you really get the the firmness of the meat definitely better cut thin than thick all right now let's give one of these rolls a try Whoosh. Woo! That is banging. Something with the seaweed being on the outside <clears throat> makes these rolls so good. Mm. Yeah, it totally makes sense why tilapia are a popular fish. Very mild, cheap, delicious. All right, after finishing a meal. Did them. Could you start on that? So good. Woo. There's so. Tilapia. Hate them or love them. They're pretty good. Definitely give them a try if you haven't before. Super mild fish, delicious fat. They're really affordable. Just remember to check where it comes from and do some research on the farming practices they have in the countries it comes from. Thanks for watching. Check out my Patreon and check out my merch. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.